Well, well, well. I'm sure you're wondering who I could possibly be taking up in this video. Let's find out. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Mystery Rank Up Theater number 71. And I'm sure this was a difficult, difficult guess. But if you can guess who I'm about to take up all the way to rank three, leave a comment below. However, we're about to reveal it in five, four, Three, two, one. Kitty Pride. Yes. I'm sure it came as a huge shock to everyone. I just finished grinding, putting up almost a hundred million for Kitty in the basic arena. I got an offer during the Valentine offer and there was a, a two to three rank up gem in one of the offers. And when I got that, I had already reserved it for Kitty, who I knew was coming to the basic arena soon. And if I didn't pull her from a crystal, I knew I was going to be taking her uh, grinding for her. All right. So this should come as no surprise to anyone that's been following me. Uh, and following my channel. All right. Now, Kitty Pride came out uh, last year, 2021, along with a few other champions that are quite good. So, my personal favorite for 2021 is Hercules. And I grinded for Hercules earlier. But Kitty Pride is a very close second. For me. Now, for some people, it's reversed. They like Kitty Pride the best, and Hercules is a close second. So, whoever you have chosen as your favorite, they're both beasts. Okay? Now, one thing about Kitty Pride and her awakened ability. Now, I'm taking her to rank three because I'm going to take her to rank three regardless of whether she was awakened or not, but she is still good, unawakened. However, when she has her awakened ability, it is crazy, okay? Um, you see the romance rank up gem um, that I got just for her. You see the um, resources that this rank up gem saved me. So back when I purchased it for units, um, this is what I was saying, you know, you have to evaluate it in terms of how many units would you spend for all of those resources, the T5 basics, the T2 alphas, everything that it takes to take up a champion to rank three. And for me, it was worth it. Okay. Now <clears throat> her awakened ability, and we'll look at it, uh, towards the end, but her awakened ability is phenomenal. And to me, that is how an awakened ability should be. They should be great without their awakened ability. But with their awakened ability, it should take them to a whole nother level. And that is the case with Kitty Pride. She is perfectly playable um, without her being awakened. But her signature ability is so good. And if I can get an awakening gem, if I get a mutant awakening gem, it'll go to her. All right. You see, I used up all of my mutant ISO. Kind of knew I would. Uh, and I will use off brand. Don't look, Brian Grant. Uh, ISO. Don't want to do this. If you don't have a lot of gold, if you don't have the kind of gold that I have, don't do this because you're actually losing out on gold by using different classes 
uh, other than the class of the champion you're taking up. Okay, so you don't want to do that. Uh, same thing with these uh, gray ISO. You don't really want to use the gray ISO because, again, you're kind of losing out on gold. So you want to use the same class and class ISO whenever you can. But in the interest of time, and I didn't want this video to stretch on forever and ever, I just said, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use whatever I need to use. Okay? That's why you see me using uh, off class ISO. Whatever I got to do, that's what I'll do. Okay? Um, but at the end, we're going to have a little bit of gameplay on Kitty. And one of the things that when I compare Kitty and say Hercules, uh, one of the things that I always mention is how easy it is to use them to their fullest. Hercules, very simple and straightforward. Kitty takes a little bit of time uh, and a little bit of skill, okay? So here it is. Um, Kitty is my latest rank three. You can see a few of the details. We're not going to go into uh, any of that, but I wanted to show you guys the signature ability so you can see why that signature ability is just so good. Look at all that she gets from that signature ability. Takes no damage while phased, you know, gains defensive combat power, pause. I mean, it's crazy. Okay. So you do want her awakened. She's worth a generic awakening gem. Okay. Um, I know people ask that question, but yes, yeah, she is worth the generic fully functional, even if she's not awakened. But if I had a generic, I would awaken her. And she currently is my most wanted awakened, um, most wanted to be awakened. All right, let's get to Realm of Legends. All right, let's head into Realm of Legends. But before we do that, let me show you the synergies I'm going in here with. Uh, and she has some really nice uh, synergies, let me tell you. Now, I don't have all of them active, okay? Uh, you can see here uh, one with uh, Wolverine. She has a chance not to have those prowesses get consumed. That is awesome, let me tell you. Each miss during phase grants two additional prowess, and it's ghost. Crazy. Okay. Um, this one here with Emma, I like this one because I hate uh, reverse controls. So with Emma, I won't have to worry about that when I'm playing with Kitty. Love it. Okay, so here are the ones that are active. Okay, when 10 uh, plus prowess are active, become passively unblockable while phased. This to me is the best synergy right here. That is crazy. This is a must have. If I play Kitty, I'm gonna be playing her with Tigra, hands down, okay? Um, we've got this one with Magneto. Again, she's got great synergy partners. Um, she'll gain one uh, Fury for every debuff that's on her. Um, you got increase the duration of her incinerate debuffs by 10%. Passive incinerates by 15%. Uh, this one's not active. It's just more armor rating. And then this one, more power gain. So this power gain one, I can swap out here for this. And it'll probably be more useful than that uh, power gain one. All right, let's head in. And I am definitely not a, you know, kitty expert here. All right, so we're just gonna play. Try to get to um, 10 prowess. Okay, she's got two. All right, and there we go, phased. All right, now, he's got 10. Look at this. 
Look at this. Now it was consumed, right? But look, I still have 17. Nasty. Look at that damage. I used up all the prowess for that damage. She is just crazy. I got 10 again. Now, oh my goodness, just, just, this is just nuts. Look at this. <laughs> I love it, man. Now, if she was awakened, I could have rushed into that and done a lot of damage. All right, let's hit him with a special three. Just look at her. I won't skip it. Just look at that, man. I like Kitty, for sure. And if she was awakened, even better. So let me uh, try to build up prowess again. Okay. And then, oh man, it didn't, uh, I tried to hit the um, special. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna dash and hit the special. There we go. I tried to hit the special earlier, just it didn't register. But as you can see, Kitty is crazy. And you guys haven't even seen all that she can do. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for this video. Expect more Kitty videos coming as I get better with her. Uh, and when she gets awakened, just watch what she can do. All right, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.